really interesting to see the flow of those activities here. This project is a project in which I built a mobile workbench or a barbecue cart. I'm Kristen from Vision 6D and what you see are the flow of activities I needed to build that workbench. The ones that are in blue are the ones still having some margins and the one in pink or red are the ones on the critical paths. Now, when you usually access to a diagram, you get the Ghent chart. And this is in that way you see that you see it normally. So how do you get from there to the network diagram? With this, we go here up into the Ghent chart and you see that you can select the network diagram. And with this, you will go and get the same view. For those of you that have another access to the, the views, you see you can always find it here in more views. And you select the network diagram here and you say apply and you get to the same point. We see that uh, we have different colors into the, the tasks and activities. Here, for example, those blue ones, they have a white background. These are tasks which have still a margin. If I select a task, I can go on it, you see, and I can right click and I can access, for example, to the information about that task. And here, like in the GAN chart, you have the same window that open and you can key in informations directly here. The ones that are in red here or pink are the ones which are on the critical paths. So you see here my critical path in this construction was the one followed here. Now we have here or here in front, for example, a blue task. This is a summary task. And as a summary task, I can reduce it. And I can also do the same here for the other summary task I have. And of course, I can simply reopen or extend them. The layout that we have here is a layout that I selected manually, which means that each activities, I move them at a place that arranges me. If you, you start directly from the, the GAN chart, you will get an automatic layout. And for this, you can of course change it. And for that, you go to the format part and then you select layout. And you see that in my case, it was allowed to move the boxes manually. Of course, you can change this and set it to automatically. So we'll do it and we'll look what happens. You see that the complete layout has changed in our project. You see here the start, different tasks. And if I follow here, you will see, and we are now going to look at the complete uh, view of the, the project. For that, I go into view and I zoom and I select entire project. And we see that we have another flow of the, the tasks. The predecessor and successors haven't changed, but the representation is a bit different than what I had. In that representation, you see on the left side, the summary tasks. And you can always look the project tasks, then the first level summary tasks, and then the second level summary tasks. So if I open here those levels, you see additional tasks have come into the view. You see on top here up the initiation. In the initiation, I have different activities here with the initial design, and this is concluded by the kickoff of the project. And you see here that it's a different shape. Uh, which is represented here, 
And this is showing that it is a milestone. A milestone is represented in that way. I've changed the size. And what we are going to look now, it's if I select a task and I come on it and I drag like that a line, you will see that I'm able to add a new task. So the tasks that I'm going to create here, it's a milestone when I'm delivering the prototype of the cart. So I call this prototype number one, and I'm going to give here a duration of zero day. That's how we define a milestone. And you see that the shape here has changed as I planned it and as I had told it before. In the next video, I'm going to show how from a white page, we are creating a project directly into the network diagram. You like this session, so thumb up, subscribe to the channel because it really helps us to, to grow, share it with your friend, questions and remarks are really welcome. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.